Danielle, thank you. 532. It's the start of a brand new season at Nats Park. The team is back in town getting ready to host the Pittsburgh Pirates for today's home opener. We have live team coverage. Melanie Hastings has tips for fans looking to save some cash at the park this season. Yes, but we start with Joy Wang, who is live from Nats Park. Hey, Joy. Good morning. You know, you might think, OK, it is dark. It is rainy. Is it even that exciting out there? Yeah, it actually really is. There are bright lights up already. And to talk to me more about the field is John Turnour, the director of field operations. First, though, 15 years. This is yeah. your 15th opening day. Yeah. Talk to me about the excitement around today. Yeah, uh, opening day, obviously, there's always a lot of excitement. Uh, in the last 15 years, they've, they've flown by. But, uh, you know, each, each and every year, it's, it's always an exciting time to get the year kicked off. I was really excited to hear from Eileen that you guys aren't tracking rain at 405. So talk to me about the field, though, because a lot of work goes into preparing for today. Yeah, absolutely. So a lot of our work really started a couple months ago. Uh, a couple months ago, we were coming off our winter event out here. We replaced the field. Uh, just two months ago, there was no grass out here. Uh, so really, over the last two months, we've uh, converted from our winter event uh, to baseball field. So there's been a lot of work from our staff out here, a lot of, a lot of motivation, a lot of dedication with our staff to get to this point today. You might see the tarp actually too right now. And of course, it looks like you guys are, of course, preparing for opening day, but there's a special drainage system to make sure everything runs smoothly. Yeah, so we've got a series of drain pipes underneath our field. It's built for drainage. So uh, we're grown on 100% sand out here, which a lot of people wouldn't know, but that sand is really meant just for drainage. Uh, so any type of rainfall that we get out here, Anything on the grass, the grass wouldn't necessarily get soft. It wouldn't get squishy or mushy or anything like that. So for rain, strictly our main concern is everything that's always under the tarp, which is where our infield clay is, the pitcher's mound, and home plate areas. So those are really our focus areas on days of rain to keep, keep dry and keep safe for the players. 15 years here at Nats Park, but your baseball experience goes well beyond that. What do you love so much about the sport? Uh, there's so much. I mean, there's there's so much variety with baseball. There's obviously the strategy of the game. It's, you know, being kind of really uh, intimate with the players out here, you know, getting, uh, you know, their feedback from a field perspective, working with them, but also to just, you know, having the fans in the stadium, opening up the gates, uh, welcome them back into the ballpark this year. But there's always just a lot of excitement, you know, here at the ballpark. It's it makes for a very fun unique office to come to work every day. All right, quickly before we let you go, favorite food at the ballpark? Uh, I'm going to go boring, but I'm going to go just hot dog and popcorn. It's it's kind of like a everyday thing for me when the when we have a game. So <laughs> it's a classic. Nothing boring about that, especially because this year for the first time they've actually got special hot dogs for the away teams as well. They're going to be specially themed. So think, you know, I don't know, maybe a cheesesteak hot dog. You're going to have to show up to find out for yourself. Live here at Nats Park, Joy Wang, back to you.